something's different, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Yes, this isn't the front room. The table's still here, so that's all that matters. Yes, I am. Um, my mother has decided to make better use of the front room, so unfortunately this is now where we're going to record. However, it doesn't mean I've got a lovely wall to stare at. But yeah, the table's still here. And I can still make a tripod out of whatever's handy in the room. So, what are we doing this week? I'll be brutally honest with you, we're doing e-numbers. Because I've got shit like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll start with this one, it's here. It's a giant gummy burger. Because when you thought confectionery couldn't go any lower. But yes, looking at the back, ingredients, sugar, we gathered. Syrup, water, beef gelatin, hum... Um, that word, next to E420. There's some acid, some E30, some E2... 96 E202 E331 and then there's all of those other ones there and of course please note they may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children i.e. they'll be bouncing off the ceiling for a fortnight so we, ah, the reason I bought this is I bought this is cardboard so go away go back it's in a bag would guess that's the safest place to put it. I'm going to be really lost for where to put these afterwards because it's a warm day. And I fear if I put these in the bin, for the love of God, as a child's supposed to get into this, I fear if I put these in the bin, it may attract every fly in Stoke. It um, smells sweet. Again, what on earth were they thinking? Right, we've got this bag, we've got this box. Get me the fucking duct tape and angle grinder. A layer of fucking plaster and some bricks. There's even more. There's two pieces on each side. This is actually harder to get into than most fucking bank vaults. Did bring the fucking scissors or this video will be four hours long? Right. It's a burger. It's now probably stuck to the table. Yeah, and I don't know what world this exists in, but yeah, there's your bun. Yummy. There's your lettuce, I presume, or it's a giant gherkin. He is, what well, I guess is a, they're going for as a burger, and there's the bottom of the bun. My fingers are now incredibly sticky. I'll try the bottom bun, see what it tastes like. Ow. As with any gummy thing, I've now got no teeth. That was far too big of a bite. Are you pleased to hear that it doesn't taste like bun? It does just taste like sugar. Let's try the green thing, see if there's any difference. No. There's no overriding flavour to it, like, you think there might be strawberry or something like that, lemon. That tends to be the generic flavour they go for, but no, it does just, it's just a pile of sugar formed into the shape of a burger that even McDonald's would be fucking ashamed to send you out and they just fucking lob stuff at you. Let's look at something more traditional, or at least traditional in the UK. I've dropped one on the floor, I'll get that in a minute. It's a gummy fish and chips. I've had these for a while. Is this still on? 9th of March 2021. Yep, considering I've had these for about a year, that's worrying. What's on the back? Oh, can you guess E numbers? Ooh, look at all of them. It reads like a science experiment. And there's that Hume. Humaclunt? <laughs> Humaclunt? Hume. Hume. Hume Tant? What the fuck is that? I got no someone look that up for me <laughs> and tell me how wrong I am for assuming it's just something to do with the sugar. Alright then. This time we're not using the scissors. Because I've had enough. So yeah. It's in a bag again. I'm not seeing a reoccurring fucking thing to use it at, eh? Well this time we can stab our way in. 
fucking animal. Uh, where's your fish? There's your chips. Uh, about the same portion size if you go to a restaurant with charges anything above £15. They were eager. Right. Oh, God, they feel weird, but. Yeah. Hmm, let's try a chip. There's that much sugar on these. They're actually crunchy. This could easily pass for a chip if you're a little bit drunk. Yeah, they actually taste nice. Again, they taste like fuck all, but they, um, they approve of this message. Let's try the fish. Well, from its colour, I'm guessing orange. From its shape, I'm guessing that um, the 3D printer was on a blink. Yeah. Generic orange taste, so, so far the fish and chips are winning. Because they actually taste like they exist. Now then, we've had America, we've had England. Let's go over to Ferrari World. It's a gummy pizza. I fear this one the most, for it looks the most chemical. It's also the most annoying one because it takes up a lot of space in my box of things to try. Let's have a look at the numbers. Ah yes, here are all of our friends. But apparently this one's supposed to be tutti frutti. And of the entire thing, it's 322 calories. That seems awfully low. Of which sugar is 68 grams and the entire thing weighs what again? 340 grams, so that's a lot of a lot of sugar. There, are, there is only 0.2 grams of fat, so that's nice. Give me the scissors. Why are the scissors just over there? I'm sure. Um, I have no. Oh, yeah. oh, it's like it's like a cheap toy. It's just a cardboard back. Stand down scissors. Ugh. Okay, ew. <laughs> ew on most inconceivable levels. Goodbye. Even it doesn't want to be any part of this. It's just flopsy. It's on this bit of plastic, thankfully, so it's retaining some form of shape. <laughs> Do not get your kids this. It was, I think it was like 2 99 in Home Bargains, I believe. Back in December <laughs> when I bought this, because I remember I was up at... The uh, shopping centre. What does it smell like? <laughs> it smells like a new shoe. Oh God. Oh, save me, Jesus. Uh, I don't know what that was that was attached to. Alright, let's just nibble this corner and see what. See if it's at least tutti frutti. Ow! It's fucking rock hard for gummy fruit. Gummy sweets here. Now, once you've moderately dislocated your jaw and knocked a filling out, it does at least taste like tutti frutti. One more thing that concerns me the more I look at this is what are these yellow things supposed to be? I get that the the red circles are supposed to be pepperoni, uh, the green are obviously olives, but what the fuck is that? Is that a pepper? Olive, pepper, and pepperoni pizza? I think if you asked the woman for that in um, as does she knock your fucking block off? Yeah, um <laughs> Flip flip flip. It's it's better than the burger. I can say that any day of the goddamn week. And what's next? We're running out of fucking table. It's like, it's like touching slime. We've got this. And I quite like the name of it. It slid slightly out of the box of it. It's a Jalai Lama. You gotta admire little things like that. Until you look at the um, thing itself and you realise that its eyes are closed because I think it's dead. I think it's been dead for a while. It's stuck in a box. Look at that barcode. Impressive. E numbers, I've actually seen a lot less. There's E171 and E16A, which to be fair. So not just that top bits in English for those who want to witness it. This means that this is the most healthy out of the what 
ones we've got so far. That's not saying much, it is still mostly sugar. It's a box, and inside is another tray and a bag. And I think the company's trying to keep us safe from what they've created. Come on, you um, poor deceased alarm. Oh dear. Yep, it's clearly dead. Unless they're supposed to be its eyes, in which case I will really need to brush up on my um, book of what animals are supposed to look like. Just... Oh! Ugh! Fuck! Right off with that smell. There's... I have to sniff you to get... Oh, this will be for a very niche section of the audience who will recognise this smell. A shop that sells statues and smelly things like candles and incense sticks and always has like three separate ones going that congeal into some smell that smells kind of off-putting. It's that smell. It's that multiple incenses being burnt at once creating a, hor a horrible odour that's probably masking several other horrible old odours from the shop. I don't like sniffing this, but I keep sniffing it. What's it taste like? Yeah. I'll bite his ear off. Lemon. But not nice lemon. Sif lemon. Do the toilet bowl out, love. I forgot to do it early when I was washing the bathroom. Sif. Like, spray it round the fucking U bend, Sif. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm afraid that is possibly one of the worst ones. Now I have to retrieve the other one that I dropped behind the table. There we go. Anyone who's scared of not real spiders look away now. It's a gummy creature. I guess they don't have the um, right to call things spiders. Sorry, something's just made a weird noise downstairs, that's why I'm pausing. I do believe the dog might have woken up and realised I've locked him in the living room. So. Oh. Review this. I don't mind having the dog in for any videos, but I'd rather him not consume liquid sugar at the end. Go on, all aboard the chemical train. Oh, we didn't look at the um, instructions. <laughs> yeah, put in your face. The um, ingredients. It's that that word's back again. We don't know what it fucking means. Uh, but yeah, we've got one, two, three, four. I can't, I can't count one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven E numbers, and three of them make your kids fall off a cliff. Do not make this shit easy for fucking Darren. What smile are we getting with, ladies and gentlemen? Once I can release this arachnid from its jo oh, it's stuck to the <laughs> ew, ew, ew. So I must have squashed it with a paper. It's on whatever this piece of plastic is and we'll keep it on there. Because uh, the piece of plastic and the actual sweet itself aren't the same shape. Um, let's squash that up there. Yeah, I think this is just um, kind of a guess. The smell is of... Hmm. Vanilla. But once again, not food vanilla. Glade vanilla. What is it with these fucking sweets and just tasting... Like cleaning equipment. Ugh, God, the plastic bits are either. Why have I taken it off it? Oh, I'm gonna chew this leg. Sorry, Mr. Spitter. Oh, and now it's stuck to the cloth. Lovely. Hmm. I think it was made by the same company that made the fish and chips because it tastes the same. Although, to be fair, these chips do mean if it wins. And I'm going to eat another one to get the taste of everything else to go away. Lovely. Yes, this has been a selection of horrible gummy sweets. If you want your child to have hyperactivity until he's 46, buy him these. If, however, you are a mother that, um, what's the word I'm looking for, gives a shit, buy your kids some, um, some other sweets. Anything other than these. Buy them a 
a box of fucking sugar, because if you actually gave them a bag of sugar, I'm pretty sure there'd still be less sugar in there than there is in these sweets. Goodbye, everybody.